Uh, yeah, I, th I think so too. I think Hero does incredibly well against Sword Fighter, so uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we see like he's like Chavo used to play Hero. Um, he also plays Terry, but I don't think that the Terry is the answer uh, for me, Sword Fighter. The way that that matchup goes between them in terms of with the Incineroar. So with uh, with Hero, you have the sword range. You have that stupid side B. Uh, yeah, me Sword Fighter versus C uh, Incineroar. Yeah, comical indeed, Steven. Comical indeed. Lol. Uh, all right, here we go. Getting into game number one. Here we got losers quarters. Uh, the other side of losers quarters. Uh, the person here will be going to fight against. Uh, 6 a.m. in loser semis, but before that, we will we will head into winners finals. After that, down tilt pressure in the board. Are you going to be seeing a whole lot of that out of um, out of hindsight? He's going to be using a lot of down tilts and such up close in these shock rooms to not only put pressure on uh, prime, prime time, but also keep him from getting projectiles going. And uh, if you get the uh, if you keep throwing shock rooms out, it'll force a delay. Yeah, there you go. It forces a delay in Wonder Wing. And as we just saw, Wonder Wing Sled Up also loses to a Tornado. So, you know what else sucks? Me Star Fighter beats Bowser Jr. Like, pretty handily. So, for a prime time, this matchup is also going to suck. Because both of his characters struggle against Me Star Fighter. That time, Chakram does not hit the money, though. It, uh, the Wonder Wing gets in. Going for double hit forward arrow to Nair. Trying to maybe call out the, um... Trying to call out the, the startup. But Primetime, unfortunately, getting sent off stage. He actually had his jump still. I did not think that Primetime still had his jump, so that's going to be Primetime taking a not very big punish. Down throw into up tilt. Not a fast enough mash. I can literally hear that mash from down here. <laughs> and uh, that is going to be uh, a, er a pretty early lead, but not a massive lead in favor of Primetime. Uh, also, yes. Uh, whoa, there you go. So Tornado sucks for many reasons when you're getting hit by it because the hit stun is so long. Like, it's almost melee hit stun. Like, when you get hit by it, you have to guess. Do you jump? Do you air dodge? Because Hindsight can just wait and react to it. Uh, yes, it was Tai Swan that beat, uh, or Tai Shan that beat, um, Hindsight in round one. Uh, he decided to go Cloud, and then he beat the Me Sword Fighter after that, I think. Uh, with the Donkey Kong. But Tai Shan actually did pretty good today. Using the reversal is gonna try and back him off with these, uh, with his ledge trap. But Primetime holding a pretty solid ledge trap here. Getting a big amount of damage on Hindsight. So, I, even though Hindsight was able to get the throws, down throw the up tilt. Good mash! Goes all the way off stage though. I'm pretty sure he meant to go for a forward air. Probably, uh, at, like an exit. Oh! That could be a snipe! But the high, the very solid vertical recovery from that up B is gonna keep Primetime in it. Because that would've been a very good snipe from Hindsight. Reflectors are going to be used quite often here. You want to use that as often as possible. You want to make sure that you keep in, um, you want to make sure that you keep in hindsight from, excuse me, you want to keep, sir, uh, that you're keeping prime time from going for a lot of those, but eventually you just get caught by the bare hands. That down throw is going to lead to another KO. Uh, it, like, yeah, some people have crazy mashes. Unfortunately for hindsight, though, the, uh, he hasn't been able to mash out just yet out of those up tilts, which has been enormous because anytime the banjo's getting a free up tilt, uh, on the mash read, uh, actually, no, even if you mash out early, it, uh, up tilt's the answer. If you don't mash, up smash is the answer. So, excuse me, that was just, that's just good reads on the mash. But, the answer with the up air, after catching him, is going to be hindsight. He goes for the aggressive up B, thinking that he's gonna do something. Gets called out on the jump. Primetime going for the side B. Does catch him at the ledge. Primetime not taking any damage. Trying to snipe him with the, with the jump. Does he get him on the ledge here? Goes for the up smash, but he was just out of range. And this should be a punish. He does not get it, though. Primetime is basically cruising with this last stock here. Goes for a double forward air. Tries to catch him on a high recovery. If he reflected that uh, that Wonder Wing, that would have been huge. Oh, down throw. That time he does get the mash out. He decides to go for Avto. He knows for Avto at ledge a whole lot. I'm surprised he hasn't tried to go for Ob Smash at any point. Uh, but Wonder Wing, there's only one left. That means that recovery and the kill option, you only have one left on that option. Decides the, uh, the air dodge directly in front of hindsight after using the two jumps with the tornado incoming. Chakrams are starting to hit the mark here as primetime is currently getting jungled at the ledge. Hindsight can definitely still get this game if he can find a down throw to up air, which you see him doing. He goes for back throw, gets stage positioning. Let's see what he does here. Uh, goes for the... Oh, goes for forward air, but he misses. Down throw, up tilt. Yes, it is. And that is going to be... Hindsight losing first game. As I always said, he took the first game. Uh, and then Primetime taking game number one. Very solid job there from Primetime. Uh, because I definitely thought with the way that Hindsight was playing, I thought Hindsight was about to run their back. Uh, Hindsight did a good job of getting a lot of hits with the Chakram. Uh, the Tornado at startup is really good against Wonder Wing. 
Um, I think hindsight did an excellent job of kind of invalidating a whole lot of the Wonder Wings. What he didn't do though was he got caught, he got caught grabbed and getting grabbed a lot. Like I, I'm curious to see what hindsight does to change it up to avoid getting grabbed nearly as much. We're gonna be seeing a switch off to to um, small battlefield. Not too surprised. What's the music? Do you pick a banger or do you pick or do you fail? Let's see what you do. All right, Sonic music. bad this is a good one this is a good one i was honestly hoping he'd pick escape from the city but he didn't dark i re <laughs> i read that as it's true depending on parents was like what is what is, what is, what do parents have to do with that <laughs> except for set uh so here we go into game number two here running at the small battlefield um i, I you know i think that the in terms of counter pick i i understand why hindsight went here same platform layout just a little bit less room uh, for Primetime to run away. Granted, Primetime trying to look for a zero to death right off the rip. Uh, going for, uh, able to use the up B and then the jump afterwards. Doesn't really have to worry too heavy about uh, like an early edge guard. Like, outside of getting jump like red with that downer. We saw Hindsight almost had one in that previous game. Banjo's parents will allow Banjo to get down to get down fair if he eats all his vegetables. <laughs> you can get all your confirms if you remember to eat your asparagus before the part uh, before the match. Which is exactly why none of them do it. <laughs> Said Banjo players are eating glue according to Twitter. What? Dash Attack is going to eat that uh, that landing. Let's see. Oh, speaking of uh, getting good eaten, he's going to get the Wonder Wing here as well. Oh, that's two jumps. He's going to be... Oh, that third one saved him. That's unfortunate for... Uh, that's very unfortunate for Primetime because he actually had him dead to rights, but the egg came back in, decided to give him protein instead of the veggies, and that is going to be an up air, but back there is going to get the... Not going to get the kill. That looked like it was going to get the kill. All right, good low recovery right there. Once you force into that angle, you pretty much got to hold that. That was excellent from Primetime getting the game back even. What is the answer here from both of them? Honestly, like, they've been playing, and I, I've been loving this. This is a very good, even match so far. Uh, I've been thoroughly impressed by Primetime's Banjo as the set progresses, because it's, like, I haven't been able to see it too much, but what an answer. They're recognizing that he was going to tech in place, gets the punish. Like, usually it's the Wonder Wing that gets punished, but it was actually the up B from Hindsight instead. Try to go for the forward tilt, try to catch some pressure, but remember what I was saying at the beginning, down tilts are going to be used quite often in this match, just to kind of check them. Gets the spot dodge, does not get grabbed. The short hop Wonder Wing to get by the startup of the Chakram. Those have been excellent to, like, usually Hunter's been using that as a way to check that, but he hasn't been able to uh, with those short hop Wonder Wings. So I'm curious to see if Hunter punishes that afterwards. But the Wonder Wing going straight through it. The egg's coming out, trying to catch him on a low recovery. Does get the tech to keep him alive. This next stock. Oh, excellent job. Not going immediately for the grab. Waited for the spot dodge. Gets the kill confirm off the down throw into, uh, into up air. And then recognizing that he was going to immediately try to get back down. Goes for the. Uh, gets a chakram hit. Gets big damage. Hindsight's starting to cruise here a little bit with the percent lead. Resort Fighter is very difficult once he starts to get a lot of those traps going. And as you can see here, Hindsight, that time holding the shield. Knew that he was going to be going for it. Tries to go off stage with the down air. Does miss the mark. That Wonder Wing is an excellent job, like an excellent idea against people with multi-hit hitboxes that go above because Wonder Wing does beat out that up B. So if you miss space it, you just die. Speaking of almost just dying, that down throw to up air is not gonna do it just yet, even with the rage, but another one of those up airs, which probably won't come off a down air at this point, because I'm pretty sure I'll use out of percent windows now. But a tornado to up air should do it. Shotgun's gonna keep him out. Primetime pretty much has no like Wonder Wing stocks left either, so you can't really afford to use it. The dash attack does get him at 158 though. Primetime had a really good egg gift before. Let's see if he can close out this set. Not gonna get it though because the rage is gone and that is gonna be hindsight getting himself the down throw up air after the rage was all gone. And that's really, really good on a player to recognize that because um, you have to notice when you have gone back into kill percent windows. Also, thank you, um, uh, Easy's, uh, for the follow. Appreciate that very much. Everybody who follows and uh, shows support, this is my personal stream, but also the tournament stream. Uh, so, you know, not only do you get to follow me on these every single Tuesday, but you also get to follow uh, me while I play Unite and all that stuff too. So, definitely appreciate you dropping that follow. It means a lot. As we get into game number three here, honestly, I don't even know who to pick the win. Um, I, I usually I have a pretty good guess by this point, 
But this match has been so even that I really don't have a good prediction as to who's going to walk away with this. Like, because this set has been incredibly close. Uh, Prime Time's had a lot of good uh, jobs of getting grabs and those short hop wonder wings whereas hindsight has also done an excellent job of using uh zoning attempts to keep him out what a ridiculously ballsy move though to just like go straight at him as a forward smash is being charged with it up beat like who does that <laughs> honestly i wouldn't be surprised I, I was expecting a zero to death off the rip too uh dark i definitely expected it but it's not gonna happen here as we continue to see uh, hindsight going in with the aggressive up beat. The short hop side beat is, uh, Wonder Wing is going to beat out Hindsight once again, going for, uh, any type of zoning there. These aggressive up beats from ledge, you, you would expect them to be reckless, right? But it's actually kind of a safe move, uh, in terms of, like, how fast it starts up. It catches people slipping all the time at the ledge. Prime time just kind of chilling at the platform. I don't dis I don't disagree at all. You get in chakram thrown at you, right? You get in tornado thrown at you. So you slowly try to work your way in. You bait your opponent to come in at you. Hindsight finally the one to like pull the trigger first and go in. Dig up the damage, but the up smash out of shield is going to be prime time netting the first stock. And there you go. That's what you use to get away from the angel platform of invis uh, invisibility. You go high with the recovery there with the up B. Uses a grenade to get back down. Granted, uh, hindsight's only taking twenty percent, so it's not been too bad. But hindsight has got to find his way back in ASAP. Drop down forward air. Primetime looking here. For the forward air. Gets the hit. Tries to get back in as well. Primetime gets the grenade up. But is forced to turn around. And because of that, ends up leading to the down throw off air. Hindsight only taking 47%. So this match has been dumb good. Like, this has been a really close match. Even though you, you we're looking at two characters that are very naturally attuned to zoning. Like we're seeing right now. A lot of zoners can be dumbass boring. Like, I, I really hate watching them sometimes. I have to pretend to hype up <laughs> during a match. In a tournament, I can do it. But this one, here at the local, like, they've been, like, they they're playing to the win condition. You don't want to overcommit because of stuff like that. You look for a hard read and then you get punished hard. Down tilt into forward is going to push prime time deep off stage. Forced to use another one to wing. He does have a full stock though, so he's got seven wings technically left. Down throw to off air, off the pivot grab. Very solid jump from behind sight, but not able to get the kill just yet. Uses the reflector to back him off. Prime time looking for a back air. Maybe a forward air, maybe uh, a hard read forward smash. We've seen a lot of those tonight as well. Yeah, that was easily the best conversion he could have gotten. And down throw to up here is going to get the hit this time for the KO. Still within the window. Hindsight knowing his percent. Now, with the end of the world going on in the background, that is stopped. We get to see if Primetime can end this pressure that he's getting from Hindsight. Currently not able to do so. The aggressive down here, we haven't seen that in quite a while. That's not something that you want to do too often, but occasionally we'll trip someone up. But Hindsight finds the down throw, finds the up there, and that is going to be Hindsight taking it in the three, uh, two to one here in the set. Incredibly well played from prime time, but that is going to be hindsight taking it in loser's quarters. Couldn't remember what it was called for a second, but excellently played. Uh, I'm, I am thoroughly impressed with prime time's uh, banjo. Like I, I, I think that it's uh, very well. 